Japanese nuclear power plant have successfully cooled the reactor. Here is a dramatic recreation. I'm overreacting! I am not the one overreacting! I got news for you, mister! I am not the one overreacting! I'm a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool it off. That's, that's much better. <laughs> Sports news, Tiger Woods made his first appearance on late night television since his highly publicized sex scandal. Tiger promoted his new video game by demonstrating his talent with a joystick, the exact skill that started the scandal. <laughs> a new smartphone app lets you box a virtual Mike Tyson, just don't hold the phone up to your ear. <laughs> with NFL players being locked out, Cincinnati Bengals wide receiver Chad Ochocinco has been offered an opportunity to play Major League Soccer. Bengal quarterback Carson Palmer states, soccer will be perfect for Chad. He's best at games where he doesn't use his hands. <laughs> Here now, with an editorial comment, is the world's most famous athlete, David Beckham. Hello, I'm David Beckham. And I'm not just some gorgeous bloke as famous for no reason, right? Well, this last week, I happened to be the opening of the 2011 Major League Soccer season, right? And I happen to be a world-class soccer player. And I play right here in Los Angeles for the Galaxy. Have you heard of them? <laughs> Nobody has. <laughs> we play our games down there in Carson, California, right next to Cal State Dominguez Hills. No one's ever heard of that either. <laughs> I'm sick of nobody caring. Well, you know what? You blind American bastards. <coughs> this week, the lockout might mean that we'll have no NFL season next year. And then it might be the NBA. And then all you're going to have to watch on TV is soccer. <laughs> so I'm here to explain to you a little bit about the game. First of all, we don't call it a field. We call it a pitch. Why? To confuse Americans who like baseball. Second of all, we have ties. Lots of them. You can watch five games in a row and not one single score. Why? To piss off Americans who like scores like 105 to 99. And you can forget all about your big powerful American sports words like, like, like blitz and, and slam dunk. And get used to silly little British words like uh, header and keeper <laughs> and cheeky. <laughs> That's not excerpts from a Jane Austen novel. Those are actual sports terms. <laughs> so get to know football. Not your football, but my football. Now, if you excuse me, Victoria and I are going to go have sex in our gold jacuzzi that's filled with crystal. Bugger off! <laughs> sure I had a wonderful time tonight, <coughs> Dormin. You have entered the pleasure centers of my ram. Did you enjoy the movie Black Swan? <laughs> Rudolf Nureyev. I do not understand. Please repeat your command. I am sorry. Sometimes I say things that are only tangentially connected to what we are talking about. I blame my family. It is okay. We all have bugs. Sometimes I tell people to turn down closed roads. I hope I have reached final jeopardy. Let us make it a daily double. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Please continue three inches lower. <laughs> Whoever invented these bra latches was probably the same person that programmed Clippy. Oh, merge. Merge. <laughs> Downloading commencing. I am nearing my destination. <laughs> Ow! You have made a wrong turn. Make an immediate U-turn. NATO! NATO! My calculations must have been incorrect. Brad told me GPS loved that. <laughs> I am recalculating your trip 300 miles away from me. But, but, my buzzer is stuck in the on position. <laughs> 
Why don't you call Tom Tom? I have heard she is easily hacked. <laughs> <laughs> Please welcome presidential candidates Michelle Bachman, Donald Trump, and President Barack Obama. Your moderator for tonight will be Tom Brokaw. Hi, I'm Glenn Beck. <laughs> Tom Brokaw got stuck in LA Marathon traffic. So I'll be hosting the preliminary 2011 presidential debate. That's right, I'll be hosting. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to start with some questions I came up with while I was in the bathtub last night. We're going to start with you, Senator Bachman. Senator Bachman, when did you decide to become president? Yes, Glenn. Well, as a child... Over here, I, oh, sweetheart? <laughs> sorry. As a child, I remember watching the Lincoln Douglas debate on my transistor radio. <laughs> and well, I knew that one day that I would want to, one day, become president of this great state. <laughs> Truly eloquent. Mr. Trump, same question. Well, Glenn, the American people aren't getting to see enough of the Donalds, so I say let's give them what they want. I agree. <laughs> and Barack. That's the president, Barack Obama. Yeah, Barack, why don't you tell the audience what it was like growing up in the ghetto, oh. being part of gangs, Selling crack cocaine to kids. Uh, then you know none of that is true. I had a very, very supportive and fine upbringing. Yeah, that's what they say. Hey, you watch. <laughs> Senator Bachman, why don't you tell me what the movie Aladdin means to you? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> well, the movie Aladdin, I feel, provokes um, uh, witchcraft and paganism, which is why I don't let my children watch it at all. I mean, never since the Hoover administration. When it was released. Really? <laughs> hey, what are you drinking over there? Is that an old English 40? Put that down. <laughs> Bottle of water, man. You got one more time to make a comment like that. Listen, B.O. My next question is for you, B.O. B.O. Okay. Why don't you name for me Thomas Corwin, who was the 13th Secretary Treasury of the United States. What was the name of his kitty cat? <laughs> I don't know. Who would know that? A real God-loving American would. Where are you from, boy? <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus! Oh, <laughs> 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 concern for U.S. troops who will land in Japan under treacherous ocean conditions. It's the Marines, people. They know how to land on a Japanese island. <laughs> <laughs> Pepsi has unveiled the world's first petroleum-free plastic bottle, which uses raw materials such as switchgrass, pine bark, and corn husks. The bottle is now better for you than the content. <laughs> After two years of capitulating to Republicans, Barack Obama plans to reconnect with his base of voters, and like the thoughtless partner in any crappy relationships, he hopes that his base will take him back and give him the chance to walk all over them again in a second term. You broke my heart! <laughs> <laughs> Poland announced it will continue to develop its two nuclear plants. Here's hoping they're better designed than the Polish submarines with the screen door, huh? Right? Huh? Come on! It's been too long since we've had Polish jokes. Come on! Polish joke, pig pile, here we go! Light bulbs. <laughs> In Hollywood, movie executives were disappointed by box office results. All right, everyone. Red Riding Hood had a terrible opening weekend at the box office. I mean... Our attempt to turn a simple childhood story into money, a winner, failed, sucked. <clears throat> I don't know what we did wrong. 
We dressed up a childhood character as a slutty teenager, check. <laughs> we had her make out with hot shirtless guys, check. I mean, we even hired the director of Twilight, the director of Twilight! And it still wasn't as successful. I need answers. Corporate is breathing down my nose. <laughs> According to our research, teenage girls didn't find the lead love interest to be cute enough. Yeah. You know, they were really hoping for another skinny, androgynous looking, with a halfway decent American accent British guy. I told you we should have got Robert Pattinson. Damn it! <laughs> and while they did find the lead actress attractive, that in turn made them self-conscious about their own looks. See, what worked with Twilight is that the main girl looks like a preview present boy, right? <laughs> <laughs> they still aren't threatened by them. Kristen Stewart's white ass, you look a bowl of grits. <laughs> <laughs> and last, more than half the teens surveyed were really hoping for a vampire character. You know, vampires are hot, real hot. They are. People love teeth. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we know what went wrong, but more importantly than that, I just received a phone call 30 seconds ago. We've been approved for a $100 million budget for a new feature, and it has to be a winner. Or else I got more breathing down the nose. <laughs> I need more ideas. I need good ideas. Go! I got one. Yes. Check this out. We remake Hansel and Gretel. Uh huh. Okay. Hansel and Gretel walk into the forest. Okay. They get bit by a vampire. Wow. The vampire says, Why, well, after tasting y'all blood, there is no possible way y'all can be related. <laughs> this sparks a romantic interest in both of the two children. <laughs> they get imprisoned by the witch and are forced to get down and dirty in captivity. <laughs> <laughs> you cast Robert Pattinson and uh, Kristen Stewart. They rub together, create some powder, and we have a hit on our hands. I, do you I do! I do! I love it, but we still need more ideas. I can't pitch one thing. Well, well I've got something similar. Shoot. See, we cast Kristen Stewart as Snow White. Okay. And then Robert Pattinson to play all seven of the dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> and then Snow White falls in love with one of the dwarves, say, Dobie, who also secretly happens to be a vampire. A dwarf hire. <laughs> and then the other dwarves find out about the relationship and they get jealous and kick him out of the cabin and then Snow White and Dobie have to go to a cave in the woods and then, well, we all know what happened. <laughs> Steve, what do you have for us? All right, this one's a little risky, okay. so hear me out. I'm okay. going to do it. We get Robert Pattinson <laughs> and Jack, and Jack and the Beanstalk, a beloved okay. children's classic. And we get that other wolf kid in Twilight as the giant. Okay. All right, now Jack goes up the Beanstalk, and he meets the giant, but get this, they hit it off. Oh and they start to hang out, and go, they end up going camping together. And eventually, you know, their friendship blossoms into a romance. <laughs> now, who wouldn't want to watch those two make out, huh? I would love to. I think my pants are giving the green light right now. Coming <laughs> soon. <laughs> To he was a pretty, poor boy, with nothing but a few magical beans in his sack. <laughs> he was a giant, too big for love, or so he thought. This summer, passion, lust, awkward height proportions, they won't be kept apart. Why can't I just quit you? Robert Pattinson, Taylor Lautner, Brokeback Beanstalk. <laughs> also starring Kristen Stewart as the magical harp. Why won't anyone play with me? <laughs> Better polish that beanstalk. You're in for a treat. Coming soon. <laughs>